uh, sebelum ni aku pernah buat uh, rig rundown tapi rig rundown tu rig rundown yang tipu so sekarang ni aku nak share rig rundown yang betul-betul yang yang aku pakai ni lah so first kita ada uh, hyperfuzz tu aku punya main like fuzz ya yeah. and then for the gain uh, for gain volume semua Uh, I use, aku pakai more macam Macam equalizer And then compressor Lepas tu ada delay Lepas tu envelope Tapi yang ni, yang ni Dengan yang ni easy punya uh, And this one is my vocals Pre-recording tak pakai Power And tu je lah Okay so This is my Fender Strat Uh, I've been using this for the longest time So aku dah biasa sangat pakai Fender Strat And I call it Fendi And it's this way Kenny Wayne Shepard Punya signature But yeah Best lah this one It's like a workhorse It does everything, I use this for everything Hey guys, uh, so today we're going to talk about the rig that I used uh, in the recording and what I use live as well. So we're going to start off with a standard Mexican Fender Jaguar. Um, it's generally stock. Uh, we'll start over here with the bridge, which is a Jackson bridge, which I jimmy rigged from um, a Charvel B3. I wasn't a fan of the original Fender bridge, it was somewhat anemic. As for uh, the pickups, We're looking at a DiMarzio Vintage J, and this is stock P pickups from the base. So uh, for strings, we're using Elixir, medium gauge. It's got the bite that I'm somewhat looking for without having too many overtones that uh, Ernie Ball has, and they would outlast Ernie Ball by maybe six to eight months. Now let's uh, take a look at the pedal board over here. So we're going to talk about what I use in my life. Uh, my live rig and then we'll move into how we bring this rig into the recording studio. So we, the input signal starts over here with a more uh, ABY splitter and I have two inputs and that's because uh, I tend to swap between using a wireless and wired pack depending on the stage and um, I've always got a wired uh, like input just ready on stage just in case the wireless pack fails. So wireless If I'm playing on stage, it goes into the wide splitter that starts off with the Digitech bass whammy. Um, and that goes into my MXR Geezer Butler signature wah, which goes into the Digitech bass synth wah, compressor, fuzz. This is my distortion. And that goes to the loop, um, a, a loop selector over here, and this goes straight out to the amp. So all these pedals up here are my modulation pedals. And the signal starts with the chorus, which is a quantum time modulator by Pictronix. It goes into a flanger, a boss, F a BF3, RB6, reverb, delay, tuner, and this is an ISP uh, decimator, which is a, it's, it's just a noise gate that I use. I use this live more than I use. I don't, I don't actually use it in the studio at all. Um, for the nut pedals that I use, this is a AMT uh, MIDI controller, which I use to control the Digitech Whammy because I have two different, two or three different presets running. And uh, also, Berdosa is endorsed by AMT. They've been really nice to us, giving us different products and whatnot. And the whole thing is powered by MXR Isobrick. Hi guys, so we're going to talk about the recording process of Berdoa. Uh, and over here is my two cabs that are being split by the Boss LS2, which is a line splitter and we have a wet and a dry signal coming out simultaneously. So over here is my wet signal. So this is where my fuzz, which comes out of a dark glass duality, and uh, my effects from the pedal board come up. And as we're running through, um, over here we can see a Tech 21 VT500. And I'm using this for the recording as well as my live show, running through a hard key AK cab, which is a simple 4x10. And we're just uh, micing a re uh, just regular uh, mics over here. I'm not sure what mics we're using. And this is the dry cap, which is a hard key uh, 3500 with 
another 4x10 which is the high drive they have the aluminium cones and one of the reasons I used the Harkey 3500 series is because they're pretty they're pretty simple we're, because it's a live recording everyone's got to record differently but we're in one building so we have the bass amps over here the drums are over there and the guitars were actually recorded above. Alright, so hope you guys enjoy the rest of the album right now. Hey guys, this is uh, Ravi from Badosa. And uh, I'll show you my rig that I use for the Badoa uh, album. Okay, so um, drums are Tama, hyperdrive kit, maple shells. So we have a 12x7 rack tom. We have a 16 by 14 floor tom and a 22 by 18 kick drum I'm using for this and also I'm using a 14 by 6.5 Tama SLP snap maple shell and as for the symbols we have Aboria 14 inch ghost hats we have Aboria ghost 17 inch crash for the right, we have a Zildjian medium right, 20 inch. China is a Zildjian oriental, oriental crash. Yeah, 16 inch. Then a Mino M series 18 inch crash over here. And secondary hi hats over here. It's actually two crashes together, which are Istanbul Mehmet crashes, 16 inch on top, 15 inch on the bottom. Pedals, uh, Iron Cobra, 900 sending, yes, Iron Cobra 900, running on double chain, and sticks, I'm using uh, Wickford, uh, AS5B, American Sound, yeah, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy the album when it comes out, see you guys.